welcome to your mat. I am going to lead you through a yin style yoga session today with built in meditation. I have a lot of people request meditation type, just guided meditation type work. And my two favorite ways to meditate, one is just in silence and just with stillness. And the second is while doing yin postures. So I'm gonna combine those two today and we'll start with just a five minute meditation at the top of our mat. And then we will get into the postures. Yin postures are so important for people who lift weights. They open up all of the tightness that we create. We compress, compress, compress as we lift weights. And this is the opportunity for the connective tissues that surround your joints and your fascia to stretch back out. If we don't take the time to do this, everything stays tight and tense. And then our posture starts to change and our range of motion and our lifting gets shorter and suddenly we're not getting the whole muscle when we're doing a bicep curl or we're not getting all the way as low as we could in a squat. If you have tight hips, tight shoulders, tight chest, which is pretty much 99% of the population, you need yin. So with that, there will be lots of moments of silence today. And I hope that you use this video frequently and I hope that you get to the point where you can just listen to my voice and you can do it with your eyes closed the whole time. So at times I will be in the postures with you, but really as much as you possibly can, get into your own body, close your eyes whenever you feel comfortable and just let my voice guide you. With that said, let's get started. So just sitting nice and tall, legs can be crossed, whatever works best in your body. Pulling your ribs over your pelvis and relaxing through the shoulders. You can turn your palms up and see what you might receive today. Or if you feel more comfortable, just gently release your palms down in your lap. Close the eyelids. Closing your eyes is the first sign of relaxation. From here, just focus on your breath without judging it, trying to change anything. Just see how you're breathing today. Feel the chest rise on the inhales. Feel it fall on the exhales. Take these first few moments just to check in. How are you doing? How are you feeling physically? mentally, emotionally, how are you showing up on your mat today? And don't answer that with how you think you should feel today. Just assess, notice, how do you feel today? inevitable thoughts will start popping in your head and that's okay acknowledge them and refocus on your breath start to bring your awareness to the top of your lip that space right above your lip and right below your nostrils I call it the cupid's bow Feel your breath there. Just focus on that little triangle.
keeping your focus on your breath. Gently bring your feet to the mat and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Maybe hug your knees into your chest, draw little circles, change direction with those circles, just massage through the low back. And then cross your right leg over your left leg and gently let it fall to your left. Arms come up to a T. Gaze goes down your right arm. Just settle in. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Notice your ribs expand on your inhale. Notice your ribs fall on your exhale. Just let sensations happen. Where do you maybe feel tension? Where could you relax more? Maybe it's even in your face. Maybe your teeth are clenched. Maybe you could separate the rows, your upper and your lower molars. Just create space there. Shoulders should feel heavy on the mat. Knees should feel heavy on the mat. your thoughts back to your breath. Every inhale is an opportunity to be present. Slowly starting to unwind, bring the knees back to the center. And just take time to notice how you feel different. Does your right side feel different than your left? And gently crossing your left leg over your right. Gently release your knees to the side. It's not a time to judge or think how this side feels different, feels better, feels worse. Just let it be. Treat each one as a separate pose. Wherever your knees land, it's perfect. Gently focusing on your inhales and your exhales.
want to make sure that these are going to come out feeling heavier. And even feel some tingling in your arms, your legs, your feet. It's okay. Slowly, gently, start to uncurl. Come back to center. And again, just feel. So as we get into some of those twisting positions, you will feel a compression and it will cut off your circulation a little bit and that's where you feel the tingling. And then you should feel the blood rushing back to those parts of the body. Releasing your feet down. Taking another moment here. So let your spine come back to neutral. And your next exhale, just roll to your right side. Take a moment in the fetal position. And then gently push yourself up. Bringing your feet straight out in front of you. Pulling your flesh away from your sits bones. Stacking your spine nice and tall. Maybe you have a little space between your legs. Maybe they come together. Whatever works best for you and your hips. And then just start to walk your hands down your legs. Drop your chin. Close your eyes again if it's comfortable. Let gravity and time work on your tissues here. Flexibility and mobility is what gives our body a sense of lightness. These stretches keep you flexible, keep you mobile. And as we age, our bodies get tighter in our joints. If we don't use them, we lose them. These stretches, these postures, combat all the compression we do. And not even just in our working out and our activities, but sitting at your desk, driving, texting, hunching over. See if you can build a little deeper into the stretch. Relax your leg muscles. These are passive postures. We're not trying to push, not trying to pull, not trying to force anything. Just letting our bodies get into the shape that feels right today. Ten more breaths here. Put the inhales all the way into your low back.
last exhale. One vertebrae at a time, very slowly. Start to walk your hands back and let your spine stack up tall. Sitting up tall, rolling your shoulders down and relax, keeping your eyes closed. Just feel. Feel the blood rushing back into your feet. Start to separate your legs to a straddle position. Knees and two middle toes go the same direction. Hips might pop a little. Just gently start to walk your hands forward again. Maybe this is it for you today. Maybe here is where you already feel tension. I like to call it drama. Maybe you feel the drama beginning. Or maybe you come down to your forearms. Just let your head relax. Chin towards your chest. Find stillness. And bring your focus back to your breath. Where could you find more ease? Bring your shoulders into your ears. Could you maybe even take your hands apart further to relax your shoulders more? Where could you deepen? Maybe gravity is pulling your belly button or your chest towards the mat or the top of your head to the top of your hands. going to stay a little longer in this posture today, so reduce the drama in your head. When the thoughts start to swirl and the tension feels like it's mounting, that's a sign that that's where you need to send your breath. So focus more on sending your breath. to those body parts, those muscles, those joints, wherever you feel the tension and the drama. Just a little while longer. Our mind tells us we can't do things that we can do. Our mind wants to quit long before our physical body needs to. So when those thoughts start to pop into your head of, I need to back off, I need to get out. Maybe you do, maybe you need to soften a little bit and then choose to get back into the posture, but maybe 
you just need to sit there at your edge for a little while longer and refocus on your inhales and your exhales. Could you even stay for just 10 more breaths, for five more breaths, for two more breaths? Next inhale, gently, slowly, start to walk out of this pose, and stacking our spine up tall, and just sit with it for a moment, notice. always feel different physically. Sometimes it's it's mentally, it's emotionally, something has shifted in us. Gently bring our legs back together, swing them over to the side, and come down to your abdominals. I'll start with this one from the front and then move it to the side. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. And then gently glide your shoulder blades down your back. Release your chin down. Feel energy starting in your feet. Pressing your palm, the tops of your feet into the mat. Squeezing your quads, squeezing your glutes. And then let all of that relax. Let your lower body be. If it does not feel good on your neck to release it down, you can definitely lift your neck up. Try to find as much ease as you can across your shoulders. Widen your collarbones and your inhales breathe through your collarbones. Takes a minimum of two minutes in holding a posture for it, really to get deeper into the muscle to where it starts getting into your connective tissue and your fascia and your joints. That's why as you're stretching on your own, and 30 seconds feels great, I challenge you, stay for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. That's where you get the rehabilitation and the restorative. Notice the sensations that are arising. Where could you find ease? Where could you release more tension? Where could you just melt deeper? Maybe this right here is, is plenty for you today. You have the option 
Bring your hands in a little closer and lift up. Lifting your heart more open and releasing the neck. Releasing your glutes. Always have the opportunity to come back down to your forearms. One more big inhale. On the exhale, release all the way down gently, slowly. And then just release your forehead to your mat. Relax your arms by your sides. Two more breaths. And on that last exhale, push yourself back into a child's pose, reaching your arms out. Gently coming up onto your hands and knees, walking your knees forward, sitting down, bringing the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to butterfly out to the side, and then either holding on at your ankles to support yourself, or just rolling back one vertebrae at a time. Once you're back here, Lying on your back, just relax your arms all the way out. Palms can be up or down, whatever feels best for your shoulders. Refocus on your breath, your inhales, your exhales. Not trying to change them, just noticing them. Riding the waves of the inhales, the highs of the inhales, the lows of the exhales. Hip openers and heart openers. This posture includes both. They're powerful. We hold a lot of emotion in our joints, especially our hips. And often we hold our heart guarded and closed, our shoulders are rounded over. So to open up and bring feelings of emotions, you can feel a sense of vulnerability. And that's a good thing. Being vulnerable is being open. It's a chance to grow. It's a chance for change. So do you feel your breath spiraling around your spine? Don't be surprised if stuff gets stirred up. And maybe no crying in baseball, but there's definitely been plenty of crying. 
find the answer. Thoughts start to come in the question, how much longer am I going to have to hold this pose? Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it's a very valid question and then just gently nudge it away. Focus on your inhales and your exhales. Take two more breaths. And the last exhale, gently, slowly bring your feet back to the floor. Maybe rock your knees from side to side. Out wide on your mat and let your knees fall in just to counter the openness that we have of our hips. Any other final postures you need here, please take them. If there's anything that's still talking to you, still creating drama, definitely give it some love. And then find your final resting position today for Shavasana. Closing your eyelids, getting heavy once again. Knowing how you feel different than when you first sat on your mat today. Just as we started our practice focusing on our breath, we end there as well. Finding space between your thoughts. Focusing on your inhales and your exhales.
hands back to your breath, back to your physical body. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. And when you are ready, roll over to your right side. Cushion yourself with your bicep. Take a few moments here just to be. And then as you find you're ready, feel free to keep your eyes closed or open them, or whatever works for you. Coming back to my seated position. And dropping one ear to one shoulder. And other ear to the other shoulder. Head comes back center. Big inhale up. Hip palms come together. They come down the heart center. Thank you so much for giving yourself love today, for spending time on your mat, and for sharing your practice with me.